Hello everyone, Squee here with Piff. Oh, sorry, I wasn't ready. We've decided, uh, and by we I mean me, to keep this more low-key after the tense excitement of the last match, which you may or may not have had a day to recover from. Really, really don't know when this is going up, but uh, I'm going to keep it cool, nice and calm. So up first, we've got the afterlife versus the ones that arguably might not actually be alive at all because they're androids and uh not there there we go the androids are one to know winning their first match whereas team afterlife is still looking for their first win not of the match of the week not of the season but for all time they're looking for their first win and <clears throat> it might be just spitballing here against the androids let's find out I've decided to be a greasy goblin. <laughs> okay, no, I'm done. <laughs> I could take that maybe for 30 seconds, and I'm seeing it now. I'm already like tearing my eyes out. It my eyes, Piff. Like... Even though it's only auditory. <laughs> How's it going, Squee? See, this is what I'm talking like about. You like me, or can you stop like me? Where's the ice pick? <laughs> Pycon versus Android 17. This might actually be a really interesting match here. Pycon versus 17. My who's going to be? Android 17, very lackluster week last week. Ranked number 54. But um, again, he didn't have much time to shine. He was defeated pretty quickly. Pycon, on the other hand, ranked number 7 in the league with 66,000 points of damage. So, if this was actually representative of the character's strengths, uh, 17 might have a problem here. But it's not. Really, I'm just throwing numbers out that don't mean a whole lot. But they sound cool. Squee, why don't you say hello to me? No. no. Come on, you know you want to. No. no, you want to say hello to the greasy goblin. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this so much, I can't stop laughing. Stop laughing. <laughs> so, his ultimate! No blocks by PyCon. PyCon was like, no thank you, sir. You keep your sadistic dances to yourself. Which I guess would I be a masochistic dance. Sure. Yeah. We name it, I guess. Mo We're looking for modders. <laughs> Burning shot! Uh, well, it did burn. <laughs> That's true. Not for the person he thought it would, though. 17. Wow. I think got a lot, a lot of defense on, but I don't think he's really got much of anything else going for him. Seems to be getting pretty handily taken down by the 17. Very true. And down he goes. And Android 17, with this healing Pataras, is almost back up to full. Now it's my turn. <laughs> Oh, well, okay, Chao Tzu. You're just gonna come in and uh, wreck the show, huh? Okay, well, go get him, champ. He's all proud. Now it's my turn! Uh, okay, yeah, there you go, Chao Tzu. You got this. Woo, Chao Tzu! Chao Tzu, ranked number 19! Oh. Okay. Look at the of the guy. 19's not bad. Top 20, 53,000 points of damage. That's not bad. I uh, probably should start trying to build on that average there a bit. Chatsu. He's going against 17. Chatsu. Freaking 17. Chatsu. You might want to. One of the best characters throughout all of the seasons. Excuse me. Um, My stats right here have him at uh, 54. Number 54 in the league. So unless there's like 500 players, I don't think you could say one of the best ever. Objectively, he's bad. Obviously. Wow, nicely done. 6,000 points of damage right there. F objects. <laughs> 12,000 points of damage. Holy crap, that was powerful. Yes, because he's freaking 17. That's not it. He's got attack plus two. 
Eternal Life, what's Chiaotzu got? Like, does Chiaotzu have it hit me more or something? No! Jesus, how did that do 12,000 points of damage? Even with like a max power boost, that's insane. I mean, in the good way, I'm impressed. Bye, Chiaotzu, you had this. You totally had this. He's down, he's taken down two people single-handedly and still has half his freaking HP left. Yeah, we might see, be seeing our first elite of the season here. Maybe. Maybe. Take, take your stats and shove it in your pocket. <laughs> but I, I don't think this could fit in my pocket then. Put it inside the pocket, I don't squeeze. Think so. Fine. I'm going to do it for you. No, I'm doing it. I'd grease up the pocket and Start like trying to put my monitor in my pocket. <laughs> Goku coming in. This is in Goku, ranked number 35 in the league. I uh, saw that from my pocket. Yeah, Android 17, probably not going to get that elite status, but still, really good showing. Really making up for last week's average. He might Ooh. make it though. I mean, with healing, he might be. Ooh, I don't know. It's gonna be a close one. Yeah, our, we'll our, have to definitely. Our statisticians are gonna have to figure that one out. Which, by the way, shout out to our statisticians for all the hard work they do bringing us these numbers. Which one day, as the season progresses, will become really valuable. <laughs> uh, that sounds horrible. I mean, they're still really valuable to teams. They're just not really valuable to me as a commentator judging team strength at the moment. <laughs> What? That's because you're taking one week. Um, one. Yeah, the most important week so far. <laughs> wow, nicely what done. About so. this one, 14, what about this one, Squid? What about this week? It's not over yet. So. How important is this week, damage. though? Not yet, Fifth. <laughs> <laughs> That's my answer. How important? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Ooh, instant transmission. Kind of wasted, but I love Got that him. move anyway. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> it's over now. You can just stop. You can just let go. Goku's not being too bad. No. I, mean, I, I like I like his form. I like his figure. I think he's got some nice hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. I like how pointed his feet are. I like how well he's doing against Cell, who was ranked number one last week of the entire league at 86,000 points of damage with cool moves like that. He did pull out a lot of those moves. He did. It really was a barrage. I mean, it lived up to the name. It really was a death. Mm. I mean, and, uh, you can take that however you'd like, down. I guess. In comes, you know, the best member of Team Afterlife, Gotenks Boo. Yeah. Actually, hang on. Let me see. Yeah, the best. With an average of zero. Can't divide by that. <laughs> ah. Wait, if it's in the top part, I mean, that should be fine. Oh, nicely done. Nice counter. Well, actually, no. I think Cell tried to counter and failed, so... Bad counter! Really, I can't call the guy who started the move the one that's trying to counter. That's silly. Yeah, I should point out, for those new to the League, I was talking about uh, how Seventeen might become our first Elite Status member. Elite Status is someone that does over 100,000 points of damage in a match. And to give you some, um, some sort of uh, uh, way to gauge it, some, what's it called? Comparison? Yeah, to give you a comparison, uh, a bar of health in this league is 10,000 points of damage. So, to get elite status, you have to, on your own, take down the equivalent of two and a half people. It's rare. Does not happen that often. And, yeah, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Explanation completed. Greasy Goblin accepts it. Um, no. You accept the greasy goblin. Don't encourage it, people. Just don't. don't. <laughs> You'll get bored and go home eventually. <laughs> and go take food with rebirth. No, sir. Android 18 is having none of that BS. Here until he notice, senpai. <laughs> Android 18 just like hell no. 
<laughs> you did not just try and cast that right in front of me. I believe he even ended it with a kick to the crotch, which oh. really serves him. Uh, much. this just in. Mm -hmm. It looks like, uh, the chief proprietor of Naruto League, uh, says, I love Greasy Goblin. You can tell Squee that. <laughs> I don't give two damn. <laughs> Could not give less of whatever. <laughs> so you can stick that into your cab. <laughs> what? Why am I asking what for? I made about as much sense as anything I said. All <laughs> right. Well done, Androids, with a devastating win over Team Afterlife. Team Afterlife is really the underdog in this uh, in this season. <laughs> Completely new team, completely untested. Fallen to 0-2, they have a long road uh, if they want to get to the Tenkaichi Bowl. The androids, on the other hand, are, I believe, not in there. I can't seem to remember where they Why are. Why do you keep saying, they're clearly there? <laughs> not there. You can't see what I'm doing, Piff. I'm pulling up the match cards every single time because I can't remember <laughs> where they are. Um, the androids, 2-0, whereas Team Afterlife... 0-2. Oh On to the next match! Yeah, I used to have, like, a, um... All the little stat cards pulled up, right? Yep. But I don't have any screen space anymore. Like, no, I've got true. two monitors, and I have no screen space between... But it's just to give you guys a little insight here into how it goes, you know, how it is. I, I've got, um... Actually, I could probably just show you. <laughs> Hang on, guys. A little bit behind-the-scenes stuff here. Let me give you a little display capture. I'll give you display capture one. Yep, 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 yep. So that's my first screen. Uh, and here is my second screen. Uh, what the heck? Yeah. And here's my second screen. See, there is no room here <laughs> for me to put my stats, my uh, my rankings up. So, <clears throat> I need a third screen, Piff, is really what I need. Like, and I know, I know that's a, uh, that's what everyone says when they get one screen. They're like, man, I could really use two. And then they're happy for like a week and they're like, man, you know what I need? I need three screens. And then I next thing you like know. I need six of them. Yeah, I know. Next thing you know, my wall is nothing but monitors <laughs> that are all linked together somehow. And, huh. <clears throat> what were we doing? Right! Week DBZ two. League. <laughs> uh, next up, guys, we've got the Majins versus Team Muscle. Speaking of, um, Team Muscle won last week at zero and one, one and zero. Whereas the Majins, uh, unfortunately, are zero and one, looking for that first win. And uh, I think again, I think the Majins are a powerful team this season. I don't think that first week was uh, descriptive of how they're going to do. I will just You're going back see. on your stats? Um, I haven't actually looked at the stats yet, so possibly not, Piff. <sighs> possibly not. Let's start this match so that I can go look at my stats and prove you wrong. Okay. Margins! Where are you? Uh, excuse me, sir. The Margins are ranked 22, 23, 37, and 18. Those are actually some decent stats right there. Why did they lose? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Something's wrong. No, I Somewhere. remember. I remember the the match they were in last week being really, uh, <laughs> really brutal on both sides. Whereas Team Muscle, you've got 25, uh, 26, 50, 31, and thirteen. General, what? Yeah, General Blue ranked thirteenth in the league. <laughs> I love that you're just like General Blue. What? <laughs> yeah, General Blue. <laughs> I just thought for a second. What? No, but yep, that's, that's, yep. Oh man, I can't wait for him again. But, uh, I would even, I'd give General Blue, I would be less angry at him if he blew up my snowman than anyone else. Less angry. That's saying a lot. Android 13, uh, not doing so hot against Spopovich. Spopovich really kind of tearing into him with the melee combos. Wow. Very impressive. 
And yeah, Sobovich getting a decent lead for his team. He's gonna need this too, because you know, 13 is gonna change eventually. The things might turn around. He's gonna change. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> there he goes. Now, you might think that the physical appearance is, is excessive, but really, the, the, what he changed the most was on the inside. It's on the inside. He became, um, he became a winter instead of a spring. Uh, which completely throws off the game plan of Spokovich, as you can clearly see. Spokovich doesn't know how to fight a winter. Doesn't even know what color scheme to give him to get, make them look good. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say that I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Neither do I. Please help me. <laughs> um, I don't know how, Squee. <laughs> I don't know how. I just say these things, and I don't know what's going on, and I can't stop. And Spokefish, <laughs> my god. <laughs> I I called it. I'm just putting that out there. I totally called that. You did it, Squee. I, I think this is probably the first time... <laughs> In six years <laughs> that you've actually called a play to a T. I did it! Mm. That's true, actually. Mm. I'm gonna frame this moment somehow. <laughs> I don't know how, but I'm gonna do it. Ta -da, SS Deadly Bomber for 10,000 points of damage. Jeez Louise, Linda Squeeze, that is a lot of damage. Finally, after suffering another two bars of damage, Maju takes him down, and in comes General Blue! Ranked number 13 in the entire league after, um, seven whole days. Did he freaking pull out a rocket launcher like it was nothing? I think he did, dude. He quick drawed that. He must have taken the quick draw feat when he leveled up. Huh? Yeah, that allows him to uh, draw weapons as a free action. I love that particular one. Mm. Very, very yeah. um, he also took shirtless at the feet. Oh, he's going. He's a monk. <laughs> <laughs> but then why is he using the rocket launcher? Dude, if I was a monk, I'd be freaking multiclassing <laughs> like that. <laughs> he's a multi class monk. Nice. Is Maju gonna get a chance to use his ultimate? No. He didn't get a chance to do anything with that max power. Jeez. General Blue. Very impressive. Garlic time. In comes Garlic Jr. Darkness Eye Beam connects for 8,000. Wow, 8,400 points of damage. Well done. Garlic Jr. ranked 18th in the league so far, 53,000 points of damage. A very impressive, uh, surprising pickup for the Majins. I mean, Garlic Jr. is thrown away as not worth uh, the lint in the pocket of Team Muscle. Maybe Majins has uh, been able to shine him up a bit. <laughs> Shiny, polished lint. Uh, uh, yeah. Shiny lint. Look! Scientists prove you can polish a turd. Why not Lynn? Why would but, you want to? <laughs> by the way, yeah, by the way, guys, actually, I forget who did it, but someone literally did polish a turd into a very shiny, marble-looking ball. <laughs> For science, of course. For science. Of course. I mean, why else would you do that? Yeah, not, not for, like, a hobby. No one has that as a hobby. That's ridiculous. It had to be for science. Skewer! Oh! He even called him a shish kebab. Where did that thing come from? Okay, I think we have a triple multi-class here. Monk, Rocketeer guy, and Ninja. Because he pulled that whole pole out of nowhere. <laughs> well done, General Blue. Yeah. I mean, of course. You <laughs> kill them and all, but eh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Run away from one team, goes to another, and just like, eh, the guy you freaking beat up, I want him to win. <laughs> And, wow, I was going to say, Team Muscle with the lead, but not by much. Not by much at all. They've got a bar lead right now. 
Um, Broly and Majin Vegeta still untouched on the field. Um, <laughs> untouched off the field too, I suppose. <laughs> we don't allow shenanigans like what Cell Jr. did on the sidelines. You get it. Lord. Even. Look at my snowman! <laughs> Happy Snowman, still alive. He's been alive for so long now. He has the, been. I think the League is afraid to destroy him because they face my wrath. <laughs> oh yeah. Squeeze wrath. <laughs> Just letting all the teams out there know, if your player is the one that destroys my Snowman, uh, you're getting dropped to a no-point build. <laughs> that player. Just that player. I don't punish the whole team. Just the one responsible. <laughs> Okay, so if one player uh -huh. hits another player into the snowman, what happens? Because w the the one getting hit into it did not stop in time. That's true. Um, so whose fault is it? Okay, in that situation, I would make an exception and punish the whole team with both of them. Okay. I think that's the only fair way to do it. And then have immediate rematch while they squirm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I find a modder to make a snowman be the most powerful character in the game. <laughs> By the way, <clears throat> looking for modders. We have so. Like, I'm not quite sure if people understand this. We're actually looking for modders. We are. Like, Desperately this has been so. a running joke for a while. Desperately so. Um, and, and I know that there are mods out there. That we're going to actually play around with them maybe for next season. Especially now that Super's out. I mean, we need some Super Saiyan gods in here, you know? Um, I but, but, yeah, but, but we, we're going to wait till off season where we actually have time to test that crap. Because, <laughs> you, know? you know, we don't want some Super Saiyan god coming in here and doing like 40,000 point B2. Anyway, my point is, we're still looking for modders, not for the easy stuff like uh, uh, player models, not that that's easy, but um, things like uh, making Hercule Satan's B2s connect all the time, instead of having time. Or making AIs work better, do good Earth things. Amazing. Nice. Basically, making Herc a playable character within the league would be something that Just we're... Just Herc. Really, that's all yeah, we're looking for. Great. And wow. The, there's there are like two things that Herc needs most is being able to like actually stunt. Oh, okay. yeah. So while we were talking, Trunks just literally beat the crap out of his father, <laughs> and Broly comes in and finishes him off. So you can't do this. Yes, yes, they can do this, Vegeta. It's completely <laughs> within the rules. It's called tagging, and I'm sorry, but <laughs> you lost. He did lose. Muscle with the win. Well done. Going to 2 0. Majin sadly fallen to 0 and 2. Ouch. But we've got one more episode to go. T -t Today? Maybe? <laughs> uh, yeah. But hey, during that said episode, you, there's a good chance that you might see cool matches like Derp versus the Dragon Ball Warriors. And maybe. Cold versus the Blades. I don't know. Now you totally, you're totally gonna see them. See you guys next time. Go on.